Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Now I am here to wish you all the best for the coming gate exam and also to discuss out quite a few things. I'll start from the supporting letter because there is a lot of discussion about it that why we are getting this supporting letter, what is the use of that. So see the problem is that in all over the India, the exam is conducted in all the cities and all the states. Now there are some states where there is still COVID restrictions and it's not allowed to travel at the night time and all but because the center is quite far so the student has to travel at that time so so that you do not get into any trouble or at any uh, check post or if somebody uh, like official or somebody restricts you to travel you can show that supporting letter and you can ask them that i have an exam and this is the genuine reason i want to go so that is for that and secondly you might be aware about the farmer protest which is going on in the ncr region so there also uh, like that the traveling is restricted so because of that uh, these supporting letters are provided to you okay so the use of the supporting letter is like wherever uh, if you are traveling for the exam and if somebody restricts you to travel you can show that uh, supporting letter and you will be uh, like you will get the uh, like opportunity to just travel from there okay so is it necessary for everyone it depends upon that in which area you are living I would suggest for the safe side just keep that supporting letter with you okay so that you don't get into trouble at least keep a soft copy of that so that you don't get in trouble at any way during your uh, travel for the exam okay talking about the exam now so you have prepared for it a lot okay you have studied a lot you have given a lot of time for this particular exam you have been studying for that so be confident with it okay don't lose your confidence and don't panic at the last time don't think that okay i have not done this topic or i have left that topic see nobody does complete syllabus nobody prepares each and every topic from the syllabus it's all about selective topic picking and uh, performing well in the exam so be confident with whatever you have studied and be confident with your knowledge okay don't get panic with anyone some general advice which all i always give you that try to reach at the exam center at the time which is provided to you or if possible just try to stay or try to reach the uh, center before the time which is provided to you secondly don't discuss questions or topics before the exam okay with your friends or anyone don't discuss that what is the formula for that or what is the uh, equation for that that is just going to create a lot of panic if not for you maybe for your friends so don't do that okay and if somebody is discussing in front of you just stay away from them so you can consider it as a golden advice okay stay away from those people who discuss questions before the exam and when the exam when you are into the center just uh, be uh, safe be careful take care of yourself because exam is a second thing first thing is your health you have to take care of that itself you should keep your sanitizer with you you have to keep your mask gloves and whatever things are required for your safety just keep it with you okay try to avoid contacts be as minimal contact as possible so these are just general instructions you all know the instructions are now increased because of the covid situation and all so try to take care of yourself and take care of others also around you okay now once you go in the exam the instructor or the invigilator is going to tell you that how the exam is going to go what you have to put in the login id and password and how you have to start as the exam starts you can follow any of the method to answer the questions i have discussed about a, an effective method how to do that but at the last time don't change your strategy if you have made any strategy just stick to that and perform according to it okay also when you are giving the exam let's say you got uh, some difficult questions don't worry about that everybody is getting the similar questions so don't panic about it just relax yourself just drink water if it is available and then just go on okay so don't get panic that is the thing which is going to make or that is the thing which is going to disturb your performance or that is going to cause problem with the performance okay so you have to be calm as much as possible and you have to stick to the topic which you have studied you have to be confident as much as possible confidence is the key okay so be confident and stay relaxed everything is going to go well okay so tomorrow when the exam will be done i will meet you guys through this particular channel and i will discuss that what type of questions are asked and then the series will go on like that only but the three hours are going to be very important for you 
because these three hours of gate exam you are again going to get after one year okay so after a gap of one year so you have to give whatever you have studied just try to focus on that try to revise everything and just be relaxed okay don't panic at all one more very important thing that don't take performance pressure also okay don't think that okay i have studied so much i have to perform and all this will only create panic so you have to stay calm you have to be confident you have to be uh, you should have confidence in whatever you have studied all right so this was a short video just to inform you about quite a few things which were required and also to boost up you a little bit all right so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching and all the best from my side and give your best in the exam and that's all thank you so much for watching i will see you guys after the exam and i'll post video after that all right so take care of yourself and uh, see you after the exam